Welcome back, Bobby with HL Supply bringing you another epic video. Today what we're going to be looking at is how to do a quick check diagnostic on basically any chainsaw. You're looking for three main things, the air fuel mixture, the compression, and then the ignition. And we're going to look at that to diagnose what could be wrong with the saw. So when your machine's not running properly, one of the first things you want to check is going to be a compression test. So what you can do is start off by pulling the starter rope slowly. Feel for the compression stroke. Does it feel strong? Is it resistance? Or little or none at all? If it pulls through easily, the engine may not run or perform. However, if the rope will not pull out at all, then you know that the engine is locked up. So one of the ways to do this is a compression hang test. What you want to do is simply grab the unit by the starter rope, and when it reaches the compression stroke, it should hold steady. However, if the unit fails to hang steadily, or if it simply drops down to the end of the rope, then you know that the compression is down. Next is remove the muffler, and you wanna do a quick visual inspection. You're gonna pull it off and inspect the exhaust side of the piston. This engine check procedure can help identify what faults might be present, as well as to verify what's not wrong. One of the other things you're gonna do is check for spark. If the spark is present, check your spark plug to make sure that you have the proper plug installed. What is the condition of the plug? Does it need to be replaced? One of the other things that you can check is the spark arrestor screen, and this is located on the muffler. Now, if this is restricted, the engine may not run at all or only idle, but it won't rev up. Some can be cleaned, but replacing would be the preferred choice. One of the next things you wanna do is a quick check on the air filter. You can remove the air filter cover and then have access to the filter. There should be no dirt on the clean side of the filter. And you wanna verify and inspect your filter to make sure that it's not worn out or damaged. The air filter can actually tell you a lot about how the machine has been operated. And it can also tell you if it's been maintained well. One of the next things you're gonna check is the start test. You wanna verify that fuel is getting to the engine. You can use a flammable spray, such as a multi-purpose penetrating oil. You can spray it directly into the air intake. If the engine will pop or run for a short time when started this way, then fuel is not being delivered by the fuel system. Drain the fuel into a clean container and check to see if there's any debris. If there is, that might be a problem. Wow, this feels pretty dirty. We won't reuse this. So summary of the check procedures that we've just gone through. One, does the engine have any compression? Does the engine have spark? Is fuel getting into the combustion chamber? You're also looking to see if air can get in and exhaust can get out. If all these answers are yes, then we can make the engine run. This procedure, it's designed to help you zero in on what's at fault, what's preventing your machine from running. Thanks for joining us. This has been a real simple just check to see why your engine's not running properly. Hopefully it's been helpful. We appreciate you joining us and we'll see you next time.